We've had a lot of random pop up storms, but overnight was a lot different. So and we needed this. Yes. A good overnight soaking, really hopefully helpful to our farmers mm -hmm. out there. Helpful for my yard. I don't know, I'm sure yours. Anyone is, with grass, right? <laughs> they, it's starting to look real crispy, real fast. So hopefully this was beneficial rain. It was a kind of a, a variety as to the totals this morning. Some have seen around a tenth to a quarter of an inch. Some saw as much as an inch. Mm. So if you got skunked, you get one more chance to get some showers and storms this afternoon as a cold front comes through. Now. It's July. It's not January, so this cold front's not packing any frosted flakes with it, but it is going to bring some cooler air and some lower humidity to our area. So let's deal with what we've got right now as you're getting out the door this morning or just enjoying your Saturday morning with us. Uh, like I said, we've got a, a one lone soldier here coming out of Logan County. No mischief with this. This is looping over the last six hours. So you see the storms that came through earlier and then that one lone soldier left behind. So that may drift into parts of Warren County. Uh, a smattering of showers. Uh, over towards Castilian Springs and then down into Wilson County, Rutherford County. You've got the pitter patter, hopefully of some very beneficial raindrops for you as well. Still some rumbles across our southern tier, although the intensity and the density. How about some rhyming for this morning is decreasing, so not as noisy as it was overnight. Hopefully it didn't wake you up. Uh, we're not worried about anything strong this morning, but once we get into the afternoon hours and we start to see a couple more storms fire up just like the last few days. Gusty wind, briefly heavy downpours. That would be our main concern for the afternoon time frame. We are in the 70s, low 70s, which typically would be like, okay, that sounds pretty good. But with the rain that fell, like I said, upwards of an inch in some of the heaviest hit spots across our northern tier, same thing for areas to the southwest. Now that the sun is coming up, it's going to evaporate all that ground moisture and it's likely going to feel very steamy. It's possible even some of the roads may have some a little, a little bit of steam fog coming off as you head out the door. Lull through lunchtime, and then here we go again. Early afternoon and into the evening, once we add a little more heat to the equation and that cold front comes in, we'll kick up scattered showers and storms. Just like the last few days, some are gonna get soaked, some are gonna get skunked. The most likely areas to see rain during the afternoon and evening are gonna be areas south of I-40 and east of Interstate 65. So if you wanna think of our area as a pie, right, or a clock, and I cut it in quarters, if you're headed up towards Hopkinsville, Clarksville, Stewart, Henry, less widespread coverage expected for you today. You could still see a stray shower storm, but the bulk of it should be to the south and to the east for the afternoon hours. By sunset, we start to dry off. Sunday is bone dry. The humidity is going to be much, much lower. You'll still notice it. It's still going to feel like July. It's just not going to have that smothering quality that it did for most of this week. Here's a look at that severe weather chance, and it highlights the areas that I just told you. Most likely to see showers and storms today, mainly south of I-40, east of Interstate 65. Brief opportunity here. It's a level one, not overly concerned about it. Biggest thing to know is that if you've got outdoor plans, if you can hear thunder, you're close enough for lightning to be a concern, so head inside, wait till conditions are clear, and then get back out, hydrate, uh, and have some fun, because with the humidity staying pretty thick today, Jennifer, that heat index is still expected to creep up towards that triple digit mark. Not as oppressive as it was this week, but it's still going to be hot.